what's up how y'all been it's been a while it really has been a while and you know it's been so hot in alabama i don't do a lot of detecting this time of year it's just oh it's been rough some of you guys know that i've seen you online still out there pounding away and my hat's off to you i can't hang with you no more getting more grays in this beard but i'm gonna show you a new machine today to me Discovery 3300 by Bounty Hunter. We all know we'll in recent back. years, there's a lot of good machines that's come out. Some of them really value friendly, really pocketbook friendly. And I'll tell you, what I noticed about this machine, I took my buddy with me. I've got several friends that are just really not good at menu-driven machines. Everything that you'll need on this machine is right here on the face. You don't have to go into any menus. Everything to adjust is right here on the face. It's got a manual ground balance with a knob, so you've got a little mixture there, kind of like the Fisher F5, uh, where you got a little uh, analog built in with the digital. And my first thoughts when I got it out of the box is, that thing looks like it's gonna be heavy, but I'm just gonna tell you, it is really lightweight. It is really lightweight and easy to swing. Now, I like that for a lot of reasons. Uh, you know, I used to think it was just the older guys that struggled with the menu systems and stuff like that on a lot of metal detectors. I fool with a lot of different metal detectors, so for me, it's, uh, it's not a big deal. But when I get out there with people that's never used one, and a lot of guys just don't want to have to deal with setting something all the time. And, of course, that comes at a sacrifice of depth a lot of times and i think when they put the ground balance in the discovery 2200 is pretty much what they did here and a few other little tweaks and i think it's a good beginner machine you're getting eight nine inches with this machine in my soil uh it does it does a fairly decent job in iron too but a good way through the door guaranteed you're going to get some goodies out of the ground wherever you go this is a good way to start. Let's go put it in the test garden, see how she Before does. Before we jump in the test garden, let's, let's talk about this little fact too. This machine right here is made in the United States of America and it has a five year warranty. Uh, backed by a company that really does a good job backing warranties. So let's get this baby over in the test garden, check her out. Guys, this machine can be had right now at a really good price out there. Uh, it's a single frequency machine. I think it's 7.8 kilohertz. Uh, I forget exactly, but somewhere right in there. One thing these concentric coils and th these bounty hunter machines are really good at is bottle caps. I've got a quarter and a, another quarter and a bottle cap in the middle. Let's just give it a little listen. Which makes this an awesome detector for somebody like me that likes to metal detect on the lake where these are incredibly abundant and I love these crisp tones that are in this machine too yeah on this machine runs past 100 it goes up to 99 more points another thing to bring out in this thing and in that 8 inch range I have to say it's really accurate for a machine at this price point I have a Sacagawea dollar right here at eight inches, just a little over eight inches deep. This idea in is a quarter about like you'd expect. 102, 106, 108, 97. And that's that's almost nine inches down. Uh, that's doing a really good job of ID in that. Give you an idea of the depth of this machine. Now, this is a red Alabama mineralized ground. So I gotta say, for the money on this thing, I've been kind of impressed with it. I really have, and uh, just want y'all to know we'll be back out hunting before long on some more adventures. Uh, got a couple new machines also gonna show you besides this one, and uh, proud to have you along. Stick around, we'll talk to you next time on Finding Alabama. 